In this lesson, we're going to learn about arrays. We will look at two methods of creating arrays and different array functions that will make manipulation easy. Let's start off with a blank VI. Array controls or indicators can be created in a two-step process. We will begin with a control. First, we place an array shell on the front panel. It can be found in the controls palette or on the quick drop menu. Placing it on our front panel, we get an undefined array. The second step is to tell the array what kind of array it is. In our case, we will make it an array of numeric controls. An indicator can be created in a similar way, first by placing a shell, and then by placing a numeric indicator rather than a numeric control. Moving to the block diagram, we can now connect both these terminals together. Notice that the wire appears much thicker than that of a normal numeric, this allows you to easily distinguish between a regular numeric and an array. Now let's do a quick tour of how we can navigate through our array. Right now we see an array with one element inside of it. However, this is not true and in fact we have an empty array. If we hover over the array, we get handles. If we pull down, we can change the number of visible items. Notice though the numbers are grayed out, meaning the array is still empty. We can add values by clicking inside one of the text windows and typing a number. Notice how the background turned white. If we now shrink the array, the data will not be lost. If we move through the array with the arrows, the data is still there. Array constants can be created in the same two-step process. However, they must be created on the block diagram rather than the front panel. A 2D array can be created by modifying our existing control and indicator. To do this, right-click on the array and select Add Dimension. Notice how a second index terminal will appear. On our block diagram, we now have a broken wire because we've hooked up a 2D array to a 1D array. Adding a dimension to our indicator will fix this problem. In this lesson, we learned how to create arrays in a two-step process using the array shell. We also learned how to add a dimension to an array to make a 2D array.